rogue and random way to start this vlog because my idea for today is that we're gonna go and explore Melbourne. I wanna like do a bunch of things that I've wanted to do for a while, take you guys into the city, really just play tourist for a day. However, I have just, you know when you get, get an urge that you just can't shake, what do people call it? Intrusive thought. I'm currently having an intrusive thought to shave off the ends of my eyebrows. My eyebrows just go down so far and I feel like it makes my whole face just like drag down. And so like surely there wouldn't be that much harm in just shaving off the ends, right? Like surely that's not that bad of an idea. Should we just do it? We're doing it. Surely, wait, can I use a face razor on my... I feel like I'm meant to use this... Wait, this seems like such a bad idea. If I just take the end off, it'll be fine, right? Wow, that actually made such a difference. Did I f*** that up? Give me five minutes to make this better. <laughs> And then I'll show you and then we can start the vlog. They honestly don't look very different, but this is them in natural light. It's kind of dark natural light, but they honestly look great. I'm stoked. It doesn't make a huge difference to my face. I think what would make the biggest difference is doing more of like a straight eyebrow. So I will go and see a professional soon at some point, but for now, this is cute. I'm happy. I'm glad that that impulse decision didn't lead to terrible results. I've just finished a really big work week and I thought I would give myself the day off today and we could just do some fun things that I wanted to do. I actually am not 100% sure of the itinerary, but I'm really, really excited to take you guys along. I know so many of you don't even live in Australia. A lot of you guys are based in the US and I'm so excited to show you this city because honestly, Melbourne is one of the coolest, most beautiful cities ever. Like truly, I think anyone who comes here will genuinely love it like it's just so stunning and so fun and there's so much on there's so many different people from different cultures different sexualities like i really feel like it's such a melting pot of society and i just love it so much like when i walk around i just feel so inspired it's one of those cities in that way it kind of reminds me a little bit of new york obviously it's a lot smaller than new york but it has that same energy where Things are just always happening. There's always something on and always something to do. Okay guys, I'm all ready. Also, I have recruited some company for the first portion of my day. Ethan's gonna come and join me. So this is like honestly my favorite shirt ever. I thrifted it a few weeks ago and I seriously have not stopped wearing it. This outfit is just a rinse and repeat. This dress, again, I've worn this pretty much three or four times this week. I didn't realize that getting my colors tested recently, which if you guys haven't seen, I'll link it up here, but I've recently got my colors professionally analyzed. And the thing that I don't tell you is that you're never gonna be able to wear <laughs> the clothes that aren't in your colors again, because I'm so conscious now of like how much better I look, for example, in white than in black, but I just have so many more clothes in black. So I've basically worn this dress a hundred times um this bag is from teddy blake i love her and then just some dirty air force ones do you want to come to a fit check ethan go give them the full give them the influence of fit check like do it how i would do it go for it um i think your mom got me this shirt Did harry's she? mom got me this shirt which is really cute it's like gonna be 27 degrees so i have to wear summer clothes white t-shirt industry cream shorts and books <gasps> you did the foot flip you have to grab your ankle though grab your ankle yeah that's it yeah slay okay let's go on an adventure they're literally jackhammering the level above us so let's leave this place right now should i blow your toes why we're on a tram Room, room. What noise does the tram make? Will they go bing bing? You mean like the movement yeah. of the tram? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tram ASMR right now, guys. This is literally one of my favorite spots in the whole city. Like, look how stunning this is. With the trees, oh. One of my favorite things about this city is the trees. Like, it's such a beautiful city because I don't know what kind of trees these are. They add this like 
lightness to the city that I can't explain, but it's honestly so beautiful. It just looks like a painting or something. Okay, we are at the National Gallery of Victoria. I don't know what's on, we're just gonna like have a little look around, but I remember the lobby being really beautiful. I rem oh, this doesn't seem like learning an auditorium entrance. Main entrance located on St. Kilda Road. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we missed the entrance. And I just love like the vibe inside of an art gallery, honestly, more than the art sometimes. So, oh my God. Say that again. It smells kind of like daycare, like that interesting mixture of like carpet, vomit, and baby food. You know? And so you're loving it, right? And it just brings me back or something. <laughs> oh, I like that you can see the city behind it. I'm gonna take a little peek. We like this. This is in the garden, and it's like a replica of the Parthenon. It's Parthenon. Just a reconstruction of a Parthenon. But it's a rainbow. Parthenon. It's rainbow. Which we love. This is such a cool exhibit, you guys. It's like going through the history of fashion magazines and it's so interesting you can see like the evolution of Vogue they started off doing paintings and like drawings on the front covers and then literally this right here was the first photograph cover on a magazine and it, this is just so cool if you guys live in Melbourne you should definitely come here I think we're on level two right now but feeling very inspired guys we were going from the what B? is it too early <laughs> how early is it I don't know do you want to be right now? High tea. Sparkling high tea. I'm probably not down to spend $80 oh, on a high yeah. tea right now. Guys, we're walking from the Asian exhibition to the British one and Ethan's like, all right, let's see what we stole. <laughs> He's not British, I have to say that. Like, you're Irish, not British. But, yeah, like, my, I'm the... Yeah, <laughs> I'm British. Cancelled. I'm... Am I really cancelled? British cancelled. Yeah. Okay. All right, shame. is invisible the character and dimension of the content are to be kept permanently secret only known to the artist and then it's this there's a 50 50 shot that nothing was painted on this no there's nothing underneath i think it's literally just a black piece of i think that's kind of the point yeah to it is. some extent it's like so that there's no interpretation that was a great experience did you have fun i had a really good time yeah. i feel very inspired i feel like i never go and just go to an art gallery or go to a museum mm -hmm. but especially like the fashion stuff was so interesting for me and then we saw this really cool exhibit at the end which was like contemporary and this one woman in particular she did all of these sayings and stuff I'll put it up on the screen they're called truisms and I feel like I gained some wisdom actually yeah, today it was, yeah it was like condensed wisdom yeah my favorite one was the best way to fight your enemies is to ignore them and I live by that can we get on this tram 67. So. so now we're gonna go and get a little beverage. Um, I read about this place that does apparently the best matcha in Melbourne. So we're gonna go get a matcha. I'm really excited actually.
What was that one that we got and had ice cream in it? It had like cream on top. There's a place in Fitzroy, which I'm going to take you guys to Fitzroy later. And it's called Nut Tea, I think. And it's way better than this. And they do like a vegan cold foam, like cashew cream. Mm. So, so good. good. So much better than this. So if you guys are like plant-based, I would say skip this. But this is good. Really good. Like You've like drunk all of yours already. Yeah. Okay, we are now spontaneously walking through Chinatown. We actually haven't been to Chinatown since we moved here and we both love Chinese food specifically dumplings and also noodles but pretty much most Chinese food yeah. we like anything we can eat as like vegetarian slash vegan we like yeah. so let's hunt for some good food we're about to walk to Collins Street guys which is my favorite street in the city and also it's where all of the like designer brands and stuff are which I usually think they put the designer stores in like the most pretty area look at the background behind me oh my god look at this yeah it's so pretty <laughs> I am literally the main character right now anyway we are now gonna get on a tram Chinatown was cute I think we need to google like where the best places are but now we're gonna head to Fitzroy oh my god literally look at this behind me it's like a movie cover or something it's so beautiful Thank you, sir. Is there a Satan drink? Oh, mine doesn't have a label, but... You're also satanic, I'm also don't worry. here as well. I love when you're here yeah. on Cheers, a date guys. with us. What are you drinking right now? Oh, really? Ew, I hate that, that one? Ooh. Okay, cheers. Just spilt that absolutely everywhere. Have a look at this view, though. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you guys ever do come to Melbourne, this is like a must do. I, like, honestly, this is out of everything we did today. I truly think this is the place you have to come, right? Yeah, it's kind of like that that thing. Like, if you want a good view of Paris, don't uh, like you, you don't go up the Eiffel Tower. You go to look at the Eiffel. You go you go to another vantage point because you want the Eiffel Tower in it. It's like don't go in the city to have a look at the city. It's like such a perfect vantage point to see so many landmarks of the city. It's really pretty. Yeah, yeah. and this bar at sunset is like unreal. Yeah, like we take all of our friends. Anyone who comes to visit, this is where we take them. It's just like a great time. Great selection of beers, wines. Like I feel like we're doing a bloody ad for the place, but you no, know, it is really is good. Not sponsor, you guys. Not sponsor. Hashtag spons. not sponsor. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine if it was though. Slay. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Oh my god. Appreciate gosh. it. Yeah. Yum. Perfect timing. These chips are lemon chips. Chipple. Yeah. There is copyrighted music playing so loud, but we're now in Lost and Found. Ethan's gone home, so I'm on my own, but this is literally the best vintage store in Melbourne. It's insane. They literally have like clothing, but oh, not furniture, but like, you know, vases, like decor stuff. I have bought so much from this shop. It's actually insane. Their prices are definitely more vintage store prices, but it's the cutest shop ever. They got this ring from them. This is my favorite stall. It's on the left side when you walk in and it's just, they have the cutest stuff ever. They have all of these like the fake fur jackets in different colors, so cute. They also have a bunch of cute pants and these like cute little mesh tops. Look at this stuff. It's also the store where I bought my jewelry from. So fun. This store is also cute. It's more like girly with, I don't know, kind of like lacy items, lots of bralettes. Oh, so stunning. Basically every little section is a different stall and different stall holders own the stall. So it's kind of like an indoor market, but it's always here every single day. That was so much fun. I'm sitting in my favorite little hallway in our bedroom but as you guys can probably tell I have taken off 
the makeup. I'm in pajamas and I've been lying on the couch for the last few hours because today was actually a very big day. Like it was obviously so relaxing and such a holiday vibe, but we did a lot of walking and it was so hot outside. So definitely wiped me out a little bit. But something I wanted to mention is that I didn't end up buying anything at the vintage store, um, which I'm really proud of myself for because I am not letting myself buy any new clothes until I have done a closet clean out. Because when I tell you my closet is packed to the brim, I really truly mean it. So hopefully you guys can expect to see a closet clean out next, like the next video on my channel. If that's not the case, then I am a flop and it means that I haven't cleaned out my closet. I'm really hoping to do it this weekend. Anyway, I had so much fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed just like coming around Melbourne with me. I really want to do more of these vlogs and just like actually really explore this city. Um, if you guys are from here and you have any favorite spots, please leave them in a comment. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Love you.